Hello and welcome to another blog video post by me Chris Payne inspired in part by the blog by Joanna Chan and myself so today's blog is cause and the SAP NetWeaver cloud with uh, some more bad drawings and unfortunately slightly out of focus although you've got a nice picture of the back of my hand there so anyway what is cause and what is it all about well, so let's go back to some basics. So first of all, if we think about um, the actual application, so there's my nice new Nexus 4. It's wonderful, no extra extraneous buttons on it. The application is on my phone, and it's um, run, because it's a hybrid application, by using the multiple files that are actually on the phone, so HTML, JavaScript, and uh, CSS. Now, all the data that I want to access is in the SAP NetWeaver cloud. So I use Ajax calls to get the data from the cloud and, uh, and pull it back and push it to the cloud. So that's a pretty simple statement of how everything works. The cloud lives in the domain, which is something NetWeaver trial or netweaver.ondemand.com and all the files that live on my phone. Problem here is that those are what we call the domains of our uh, data and uh, local file and NetWeaver on demand are not the same. So we have a problem with this what we call a single origin policy. The Ajax calls don't work, so we go, oh, bother. Now, first of all, let's try and understand why is there this single origin policy? Well, it was this because you have these nasty people out there in the world who will do things like create a website, which has got a name which sounds something like what you'd expect, and uh, puts some stuff on it, which is what you would expect from the site, which isn't the name. Does that make any sense? No, it makes no sense. But anyway, it has drawings of cats on it because eventually everything on the internet comes down to people posting pictures of their cats and people trying to steal your credit card information. So the problem here is that fluff, the information about Fluffy liking Wibble is on a site which is trying to get your credit card information and is coming from a different site which you think you trust, but you shouldn't trust this place. And that's bad. You know, People are just blatantly information being stolen out of them because they thought that they were seeing something else which they weren't. And that's, that's where we have some problems. And so this is where the whole idea of the single origin policy was the idea that you can only pull information using these Ajax calls from the same sites that the source code has been delivered from. Now, what we have is a solution because obviously if I have my mobile phone applications on my mobile, I don't want to download them from the web each time from the NetWeaver cloud to have the same origin. There are some very good reasons to have um, completely web apps, but you know, in our particular case, because we're doing a hybrid app and we want to be able to link it into the code of the phone. So what we have is this idea called cores or, or cross-origin resource sharing. What we have on our, on our site is we can say that this site will serve Ajax calls to domains that come from A, B, and C. So uh, site A, which is on domain A, um, calls in and it happily serves that. Um, site D, calls in and we don't get any result. What is kind of important though is that you may actually be getting some result back and the, the processing may be happening because cause is not really just a server side thing, it's happening on the browser side. How's it done? Well on the browser we actually specify the origin of get puts, posts, all the HTTP verbs of where that data is coming from. On the return header from the cloud, we specify which sites we are going to see. Now you can use the generic star, which is saying that we'll allow anyone to retrieve information, or you can say, you know, these particular sites are allowed back, so you can give a list. First of all, you can get options call coming in from the browser, which says, yes, okay, these are the sites. The, the browser says, all right, okay, good. You are one of the sites that I trust, so therefore I'm gonna allow the get to go through and everything's processed correctly. Now, an important point here is that where the origin is not allowed, is not part of that list of sites which are allowed, then it is the browser which says no. So cause isn't actually a server level protocol or a transport level protocol. It is in your browser. It is your browser which says, if you're not listed as a valid domain, then I'm not going to serve it. And that and that's, makes a quite important thing when you start thinking about the server side implementation of your cause. So first of all, we have to add the cause headers into our cloud, into our servlet. So make sure that we say that we will accept access from your remote files that are based on your, your mobile phone. But also we have to be aware that if, if we're not just doing processing from a phone where we know, okay, we're gonna accept uh, everything, but if we have some kind of restrictions, we have to think that perhaps we should stop the processing if the origin isn't 
one which we're going to accept because the browser hopefully on the return shouldn't process it and you have to be uh, say hopefully because there's no guarantee that the browser will or will not um, support cores now jQuery does support cores but there are some certain flags and I, and I recommend that you read the blog because Joe's gone and put a whole bunch more of information about what you actually need and all the fun things that you need to make the iPhone simulator work and to make Chrome work and, and the fun that we've had and the issues that we've had with that but probably worth just saying so there are some things that we need to set up in there put them in and everything works and we have a happy transfer of data so that was today's very short and happy blog by uh, me Chris Payne at Wombling uh, you can follow Joanna at uh, Jwanna. I hope you've enjoyed this another one of in our series of badly drawn blogs uh, about the SAP NetWeaver Cloud cheers